All right, so when looking at this problem, again, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing is the first step is let's just pick our side that we're going to want to work on, right? Pick the side. So when looking at this, Lauren, what side would you say you'd want to start off with? Sure, okay. So let's start on the left side. There's no ever right or wrong way, but the left side seems like a pretty good side that we can kind of simplify a little bit further down, right? Uh, so I picked the left side. Now the first thing is, you know, we're going to see if we can apply any operations. And when looking at this, I see, and I, I see that here I have a rational term, and here it's not a rational term. So automatically what I'm thinking is I need to get rid of my rational terms, right? We want to make this side look like that side. Right now, this is a fraction. That is not a fraction. So would it make sense to take the fraction and get rid of the fraction so it then will hopefully look like one that's not a fraction? Do you guys kind of see my thinking? OK. So how do we get rid of the fraction? Well, we got to multiply. We got to get rid of the reciprocals of this one, right? So you could say, well, what, what do I need to multiply by? What is the reciprocal of each term? Because these are x and y. So therefore, if I multiply by the cotangent of x, which is a reciprocal of tangent of x, and I multiply by the tangent of y, those are both the reciprocals of each of those terms, correct? Therefore, by multiplying these, I now have a denominator of 1. Question? But remember, whenever you're multiplying your fraction, you have to make sure you multiply in the numerator and the denominator. So when multiplying across, your denominator now multiplies out to 1. But remember, on your numerator, you're going to have to apply distributive property. So therefore, I'll have, actually, when multiplying these, again, you notice that I'm left with, the, those are reciprocals of each other. So I'm just going to be left with tangent of y. And then I multiply here times here. I know that cotangent of y and tangent of y are reciprocals. So therefore, I'm just left with plus cotangent of x, which is equal to tangent of y plus cotangent of x. Does anybody need me to actually perform the multiplication out, or does everybody see what I'd happened? Perform it out. Perform it out. OK. I'll just do the numerator then. You understand how the denominator went to 1, right? Yes. OK. You understand distributive property, right? Got to go to both of them. So therefore, I have cotangent of x, tangent of x times tangent of x, plus cotangent of x. Oh, I'm sorry. That's cotangent of y. Sorry, cotangent of x, tangent of y times tangent of x plus cotangent of x tangent of y times cotangent of y. So when I multiply this terms times both of these terms, you notice that the cotangent of x's, those are reciprocals. So you're just left with tangent of y. And then when I multiply this whole term times the second term, the tangent of y and cotangent of y cancel out. So I'm just left with cotangent of x. And there you go.